Hey everybody, Michelle is back. I'm out outside at the park enjoying myself. Sitting, I mean laying down under a tree, getting ready to read a few chapters, but I wanted to let you know that um, you know, it's it's beautiful to be able to come out in into the park and enjoy the beautiful trees and some ve vegetation and this and that and the other. But you have to keep in mind, because of our overpopulation, the homeless people are here as well, okay? Uh, I'm not sure what the ordinance is in this city, but I think someone told me that they are against homelessness or something to that effect. I'm not even sure. So what, they, what happens is that a lot of them come to the parks and take up ownership in the parks. And, um, but then at, when the sun goes down, they are all forced, not forced, or asked to leave. You know, they're asked to leave. But at the same time, you know, so you just have to understand that a lot of space is being taken over by all of us, actually, because, you know, overpopulation affects all of us. And so you just have to find your your paradise under, under a beautiful tree, as I have. And you're going to have to share your space with, the, with people, homeless, unhomeless, whatever, kids. You know, I see kids out here, uh, but it's not much kids can do out here, per se, because there's only, you know, they have uh, equipment for toddlers and young people but but older kids you know if they want to come out here and read their books and this and that and the other you know they can but they're going to be fighting for space that's all I'm saying it's just not the same anymore when you can go out in the park and you, you're the only one there you know or a few people are there you know I consider it safe of course because there's so many eyes around here as well as surveillance in certain places and I know there's surveillance but, you know, it's just the privacy of it all. And like I said, you have to share these spaces now. Everything is about sharing um, and, um, you know, being comfortable with people from all walks of life. So that's why I wanted to, to live in this neighborhood so I can get some life experiences about what it means to be in this type of neighborhood. I'm telling you, like I said, they, they have some, some similarities to black culture, but there's all walks of life here, all, nation, all nationalities, all types of uh, luxury vehicles as I've said but the main thing is um, you know it's not exclusively black that's my point uh, it appears to be more men more so more men that are homeless or at least hanging out in these parks I see the same faces usually when I come through here and you know lounge and relax and get some sun and it feels good, you know, it feels good. Beautiful blue skies, except for those jets that constantly are flying around, you know, dispensing all of that fuel that comes out of those jets. You know, that's annoying. And also, I we were, um, we were given some information about the oxygen in our atmosphere and how it's, it's getting to a point of uh, 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 an emergency situation, if not, if not, considered an emergency situation about our oxygen and the 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 the, the, um, the effects of the oxygen has is, is is because of the overpopulation the uh, buildings the um, and more so people when we exhale we exhale co2 and so co2 methane um, all of those factors uh, plays a, a role in how we are taking in oxygen so apparently we are at a critical state of our you know as far as our intake of oxygen is a concern is that a critical critical um, f uh, critical moment and so let's hope the scientists pick up on that as well and not dismiss it because overpopulation causes us like I said to to exhale co2 and at some point co2 extreme amounts of co2, and methane will cause what? All of us to have uh, difficulties in breathing and at some point may not be able to breathe at all. Okay, so that's something to think about and consider. You know, with the noise pollution, air pollution, but it's mostly coming from human beings. And I wish that some of those so-called nonprofits that are working 
on behalf of the homeless, help the homeless understand about how to properly uh, uh, get rid of their waste. You know, not on sidewalks. You know what I mean? Defecation is what I'm talking about. And also, on top of that, their trash. A lot of them, for some reason, accumulate a lot of trash and they just leave it behind in certain places. At some point, they get tired of holding on to it or keeping it in their shopping carts or however they push it in around. And then, before you know it, it's on, it's on, on the streets, blowing all over the place. Okay? So, there's a lot of things that we can do to help each other. But it does start with responsibility and, I mean, just common sense. You know, why would you shit on a sidewalk? You know, anybody, any adult needs to answer that. Again, I did not grow up with shit on sidewalks in black culture or in the cultures I've lived in, whether it was middle class or not. Okay, so... See, see how the airplanes in the air? It feels good, though. <laughs> and I'm under a nice, pretty little tree. Not pretty, but a cute little tree. You know, I have to protect my eyes. That's why I keep my eyes covered out here because of the uh, UV rays and such. So I'm going to read a few, and I'm not going to stay out here too long, but I want to be out here at least 30 minutes and, you know, get and be barefoot and, you know, kind of rub my toes around into the uh, natural terrains out here. So I just want to go ahead and share that. And, uh, you know, of course, you know, I'm going to be back. Peace and love, everybody. And trust me, I will be back.